All right, to the manor. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Here, how about you? But there's so many bogs in this area, I've noticed. They got for my trusty sparkle bomb. Oh, did I let one escape? There you go. Thank you for returning. We could certainly use your help again. You see, we still haven't solved the problem with time. I know, but I think we found a clue. Your fairy godmother discovered that the clock tower is missing some cogs. And she thinks that might be why time is frozen. Do you know where I could find three cogs to fix the clock? Well, you might try looking in the attic. There are all sorts of I want someone keep a cog there. in an attic. If you go to the attic, you might find the pieces missing from the clock tower. Find okay. the cog. Look for the cog at the manor. To the attic, then. I wonder where that cog could be. Hmm. Well, I know Gus and Jack like to hide things they... Sorry, I interrupted her. Hey, my little pixie Navi, where'd you go? Yeah, the attic, aka Cinderella's old room. I still give major applause to Cinderella for having to be, or for being treated like crap all her life, Don't being forced to, to be Cinderella's put in here, room in the attic. There and yet still retain there. such a caring personality. Give major props to her for that. So that's two out of the three cogs. the farm next. You never know what the farmer might have. I didn't think a farmer could have magic, but... Oh crap. Oh yeah, I have a health bar in this game. I don't know why a farmer would have a cog, but I guess it's worth a shot looking. Uh-oh. No. Okay, you're safe, Cinderella. Thank God the farm is pretty nearby. Help! Oh, hi. Somebody help me! Ah! 
those creatures are back and they're stealing the pears from my pear trees. I could help you again if you'd like. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And please hurry. Wow, you could run now, but you couldn't do that during the mini game. Oh, good you're here. If you hurry, you can save my pear tree. You just need to use that basket to catch the pears. Okay, but how exactly do I do that? Here, I'll show you. Remember any sin of my spice? My spice hell. Tuk -tuk. Well, that's nice of you too. These little mice can move the basket left and right for you. Now, the trick to catching pears is to watch for falling leaves. That means a pear is just about to drop. Then, you quickly move the basket under the leaves, like so. There are lots of pears in this tree, so be sure to catch them all. Falling pears. Catch the pears for the farmer. All right. So, falling leaves. A dirt box. What's up? Ray, get your ass handed to me when I catch all the pears you try to draw. Yeah, this is a bit difficult because it comes faster. So you can tell why it gets a little hard in this. I wish there was some way I could repay you. Stop jumping up and down would be a good one. I don't suppose this cog the bugs left behind would be of any use to you, would it? Actually, it would. Thank you. Now that I have three cogs, I need to get back to the clock tower. All right, clock tower, here we come. That means more backtracking. You know what? I'm just gonna ignore these vlogs. Nope, nope, nope. Not listening, looking at you. Ooh, good thing I wasn't in the middle of that. Nope, not paying attention to any dirt box. Let's go back to the clock tower and fix the clock. That's what I'm doing, Nobby. Thought frozen for a minute. One step closer to finishing this world. Thus, we put the clogs back in, and the time works now. Hooray! We did it! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, thank you. You've done so much for all of us. Well, I couldn't have done it without Jack and Guts. They were very brave. Yes, you two were a good oh help my. to us. Now that time is working again, I hope there's enough of it for me to get ready for the wedding. Oh, now don't worry, child. After all, with a little bit of magic, oh, anything is possible. You said it, Fairy Godmother. Go. There's still a lot of work to be done in other places. In one place, technically. Goodbye, everyone. I hope I can come back and visit again. You're welcome back anytime, dear. Oh, yes. Do come and visit us again soon. Bye. Bye. Three down and one to go. And so, and so White's supposed to be the supposed hardest level in this. So you know we're in for a good time. Alright, so one more level. And there's Cinderella all decked out in her gold outfit. Oh, thank you very much for your help. And for showing Jack and Gus how brave they could be. Okay, so last up is Snow White. have been taken from this land. Trees and houses and even people have been changed. But I know you can help. In this world, your magic wand will control color. It's like the land is canvas for you to paint. Let's see what color choices you have. First is red, like cardinals and roses. Second is green, nature's favorite color. And last is blue, like rivers, waterfalls, and the sky. Look at that lock. Perhaps we should take a closer look. <sighs> Sorry about that. Yeah, that's actually... This is very interesting, and it's definitely different from the other worlds. You basically have to constantly change your color of your wand. So it's kind of like painting. What's the matter? Are you locked out? This is Dopey. He's a friend of Snow White's. I don't think he talks, though. Maybe he never tried. Hmm. It looks like the bog locked the gate. I wonder if my magic can fix it. Mm, looks like we'll need the to use green. Gate. Unlock the gate with your magic. There we go. Yeah, I'm coming, Dopey. Don't worry. Oh, Cinderella's house isn't looking too good, is it? Where's all the bloody color? Hello, your majesty. It's a pleasure to meet you, Snow White. It was very kind of you to help Dopey. Why, you must have found a way to fix what those strange creatures have been doing. They've caused all sorts 
sorts of trouble. And they've been taking colors from the forest, too. Even some of the colors outside the little cottage are missing. If you'd like, I could try and use my magic wand to fix some more things. Would you? Oh, thank you. We just it's need my to job. go outside. Basically, we have to match the colors of each the thing missing color to what the be red. and so should Grumpy's favorite shirt. Other things aren't colored. Each of them red? So yeah, I like what they did with Snow White's world. Make it in, make it have an interesting concept compared to the other ones. Like you have to constantly change colors and use the right colors. Yeah, I can't talk right apparently. Almost was this one over there. There we go. All the red things have been colored. Oh, that looks so much better. Now let's see. The wheelbarrows and the birdhouse. And now we're rhyming. Dr. Seuss would be proud of you, Snow White. Alright. And one of my favorite shades of blue, by the way. Oh crap. Damn it. You're doing a very good job. And now there's just one color left. See? The little shrubs are missing their green color. And so is Dopey's nice clean shirt. Could you please paint them green? Oh, don't worry, Dopey. Our new friend will make it all. Oh, come on, Dopey. It's, it's gonna be your color. Don't worry. Oh, good. It went back to just being without color. That makes me feel a little better. else over here that needs to be colored? Nope. Let's get Dopey's shirt. And thus, at fixing all the color around here brings the cottage back to life. Or back to full color. since those strange creatures appeared. They've been having a little trouble working together. Don't worry. I'll go check on them. Would you? Oh, that would be very nice. If you don't know your way, the path is to the left when you get to the forest. So pretty much friends left after mine. we get out of the cottage area. Find your way to the mine to meet Snow White's friends.
Come on, Dopey. I'm not gonna worry about coloring everything, because it'll eventually it doesn't really matter or anything to the story. Some, but not all. The mountains. I like how some of the shrubs have a dark green, but when you paint this, they have a much brighter green. <laughs> 